Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to bring more realism into the sim by injecting various ships and ferries into the seas, lakes, rivers and oceans. I'll be going through a few products which are both payware and freeware. They can both be used separately and together for a more realistic flight experience. I find these add-ons really add to the immersion in the virtual world. As Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 develops, I'm looking forward to seeing even more advancements in world details like these. I will go through each add-on and explain what it does where to find it, and how to use it. I'll also give you my opinions about the products and how I think they enhance the virtual world. I hope this helps you feel more immersed in the simulator. And if you find the content useful, please hit that like button as it makes it easier for others to find this tutorial too. And do please feel free to subscribe to the channel. The first product we're gonna be looking at is Vessels Enhanced AI. This is created by a husband and wife team called Seafront Simulations, and it's available on the Orbix website. And what this mod does, it replaces the 14 default Asobo boats with 14 much nicer ones. These are very good models and they do include wakes and night lighting. There's a variety of traffic included and these range from sailing yachts and fishing vessels to cargo ships. And the larger ships are visible at high altitude. So this is a very good add-on for enhancing the ship AI in the game. The price for this add-on is 16 Australian dollars 92 cents, which comes to about 12 US dollars. The second add-on to improve sea traffic is called Vessels Global Shipping, which is also by Seafront Simulations and available from Orbix. The first thing I'm going to say is this actually requires the Vessels Enhanced AI add-on to run, so you can't buy this without buying the other one first. This add-on focuses on filling the seas with cargo traffic. It uses the same high-quality PBR vessels included in the Enhanced AI package and also has the navigation and night lighting as standard. There are 19 container, utility, oil, gas tanker and trawler models with more coming in future updates. This mod actually adds tens of thousands of real world routes based on automatic identification system data with even more routes coming in future updates. And all of these ships are visible at high altitude. This mod is priced at 27 Australian dollars and eight cents, which is about 20 US dollars. And like other Orbix products, you need to download and install the Orbix Central app and you can purchase the add-ons from within that app. And once you've bought it and downloaded it, it'll be installed into a community folder. If you do choose to buy these mods, it's highly recommended that in the traffic settings, you change the ships and ferries settings from anywhere between 80 to 100%. This will just help generate the ships more often. I have it set to around 90 for mine, which works really well. The final mod I'm going to showcase for enhancing sea traffic is the Global AI Ship Traffic MSFS version 2 by Henrik Nielsen. This is a very popular mod on flightsim.to, and that's the reason why I'm including it. Version 2 is a quick fix to resolve issues related to Sim Update 5 by recompiling all models in native MSFS GLTF format with PBR textures. This is a work in progress and is constantly being updated. Once fully updated, we're looking at more than 1400 models placed in routes all over the world. So that's really impressive. There are some known issues at this point. The models don't have any effects like smoke or wakes, but this will be introduced in the coming months. The models don't have hard decks, so you can't land on them with a helicopter. You just go straight through them but this will be updated soon. And sometimes you will see some random glitches happening with ships disappearing or warping into different areas. However, I must say this is an amazing add-on, which is totally free. And to get this mod, all you need to do is click on the download link. Once downloaded, you need to locate the zip file and unzip it using WinZip. Locate the folder G-A-I-S-T hyphen M-S-F-S hyphen V2 underscore five C-U underscore N. And just drag that into the community folder and let it do its thing. And once that's copied over, you can just close your community folder, open the simulator, and you should see the add-on in action. Once in the sim, go to general options, go to traffic, and just make sure you change the settings for ships and ferries to anything from five to 10% to avoid conflicts with other AI ship traffic, including the default ones. Like I mentioned earlier, these mods work well independently and together. If you are combining both the sea simulations and Henrik's mod, I recommend that you set your traffic settings to around 7%. This will stop any duplicates and make it seem more natural. If seeing dynamic traffic in the seas really is something that's interesting to you, I highly recommend downloading all three mods and combining them together. This gives me the most variety in terms of ship models and areas they're actually spawned in. I must say that sometimes the coastlines still do lack the ships. They're mostly found in concentrated port areas. However, I do feel that these mods add so much life to the world. So if you do want the most realistic sea traffic available, combining these three mods will get you just that. I hope this video helps you get set up with more realistic sea traffic and I'd be keen to hear your experiences about using any of the mods I mentioned. And remember, if you're after the most realistic aircraft liveries, please check on the video above. If you find this content useful, please remember to like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. I look forward to making the next video soon. In the meantime, take care and stay safe.